I once again welcome you all on the session on the herbal drug technology. Today we are going to discuss the drug interactions related with the ephedra. More specifically, we are going to discuss the biological source, synonym, chemical constituents, then the dosage, side effects, precautions and warnings, then uses and the drug interactions. So let us see the ephedra. So ephedra, it is a stimulant herb usually from the stem and the branches. Mainly we are using the aerial parts of the ephedra for the medicinal purpose. If you can see in the US market, ephedra or ephedra related products are banned. They're not using the products related with the ephedra. It might be due to the serious side effects of the ephedra or maybe the ephedra showing certain lethal effect. The synonym of ephedra it is a mahum. It is a, obtained from the dried aerial parts of the ephedra gerardiana, ephedra sinica, ephedra equisetina, ephedra nebrodensis, or other types of the ephedra species belonging to family ephedra. Look at the image so that you will understood how the aerial parts of the ephedra looks like. Moving towards the chemical constituents of the ephedra. So ephedra mainly contains the alkaloids, that is the ephedrine. The main alkaloid which is present in the ephedra, that is the ephedrine. So ephedrine, it is a water soluble salt of the alkaloid. Furthermore, the analog of ephedrine, pseudo ephedrine is present and the nor pseudo ephedrine. The leaves and stems of the ephedra also contains many potentially active compounds such as tannins, saponins, flavones, and holotoloids. If you can see, mainly the ephedra contains ephedrine, pseudo ephedrine, and uh, nor pseudo ephedrine. So these are the major alkaloids which are present in the ephedra. Let us move towards the uses of the ephedra. As you know that the ephedra contains mainly the ephedrine. So ephedrine, it is anti-allergenic, it is anti-asthmatic, it is anti-spasmodic, it is a decongestant, cuff suppressant, stimulant and the vasoconstrictor. So these are the some of the uses of the ephedrine. Moving towards the next chemical constituent which is present in the ephedra, that is the pseudoephedrine. So again, pseudoephedrine, it is having a decongestant properties, then it is a cuff suppressant. Then nor pseudoephedrine is a peripheral vasodilator used to treat the angina. So these are the some specific uses of the chemical constituents which are present in the ephedra. When we are considering as a whole ephedra, it is going to act as a decongestant. It opens the sinus, increases the sweating, dilates the bronchioles. So it might be used as an anti It is going to be a diuretic, CNS stimulant. It is going to raise the blood pressure. Then rheumatism, elevates the hay fever or cold. So these are the things. Furthermore, it is going to help to reduce the weight. So there might be, uh, it is going to be helpful in the management of the certain diseases and disorders like diabetes and uh, cardiovascular diseases related with the weight loss. So these are the health benefits and uses of the ephedra. Moving towards the side effects of the ephedra, the ephedra may show the side effects like a dizziness, restlessness, anxiety, headache, nausea and omitting, it causes the arrhythmia and sudden death, then myocardial infarction, stroke, psychiatric symptoms, then it is going to produce the high blood pressure, there might be chances of heart attack, there might be chances of seizures, there might be chances of irregular heartbeat and death. If you can see the side effects of the ephedra, it is having a major side effect and, and these side effects may lead to the death of the patient. Isn't it? So one should consider all these side effects while prescribing the medicines related with the ephedra. Right? So let us move towards 
the precautions of the ephedra there are so many precautions are there while prescribing the ephedra or ephedra related products and very first uh, precaution that is related with the pregnancy and breastfeeding so ephedra and ephedra related products should be avoided in the pregnancy as well as the breastfeeding because of it is going to cause the severe side effects furthermore it is going to be avoided in the children one should not prescribe the ephedra or ephedra related products to the children because it is unsafe and we will get the life threatening side effects in the children so one should avoid prescribing the ephedra or ephedra related products to the children it may produce the anxiety so the large dose of the ephedra might make anxiety worse so one should not prescribe the ephedra or ephedra related products to the person who is suffering from the anxiety then the diabetes ephedra or ephedra related products they are going to interfere with the blood sugar control in the people with the diabetes so one should the take care while prescribing the ephedra related products to the diabetic person then a movement disorder that is called as essential tremor so ephedra might make essential tremor worse so one should take a precaution then heart condition as already we have seen the some of the side effects related with the heart for the ephedra so ephedra can stimulate the heart making the chest pain and irregular heart beat becomes a burst then the high blood pressure if the patient is having a high blood pressure and if she he or she consumes the ephedra or ephedra related products again the condition becomes the worse so do not use the ephedra to the patients with the high blood pressure then the overactive thyroid and related condition so ephedra may stimulate the thyroid and make the symptoms of overactive thyroid worse then the kidney stone ephedra is having the ability to produce the kidney stone so it should be avoided uh, when the person is having the kidney stone then the narrow angle glaucoma so the condition becomes the worse so we should avoid the ephedra or ephedra related product with the narrow angle glaucoma then the pheochromocytoma so the ephedra should be avoided in the pheochromocytoma and the last one that is the seizure disorder if the patient is having a risk of seizure disorder the ephedra or ephedra related products should be avoided because it is having an ability to produce the seizure so these are the some of the precautions and warning related with the ephedra and ephedra related products related with the pregnancy and breastfeeding in the children anxiety diabetes then essential tremor heart condition high blood pressure overactive thyroid kidney stone narrow angle glaucoma then pheochromocytoma and seizure disorder let us move towards the drug interactions of the ephedra so the as you know that the ephedra it is going to stimulate the body you know that the methylxanthine they are also having the ability to stimulate the body so when we are taking the ephedra along with the methylxanthine their overall effect is it is going to stimulate the body and we will get the major side effects like uh, jitterness nervousness fast heart beat high blood pressure and the anxiety so one should not combine the ephedra or ephedra related products with the methyl xanthine because overall both the drugs that is ephedra it is going to stimulate the body methyl xanthine they are also going to stimulate the body when we are combining the ephedra and methyl xanthine the, that may lead to the serious side effects related with the high blood pressure then fast heart beat and the anxiety so this is a drug interaction related with the ephedra and the methyl xanthine the second drug interaction that is related with the ephedra and the dexamethasone so ephedra might increase how quickly the body break down the dexamethasone so when we are taking the ephedra along with the dexamethasone might decrease the effects of dexamethasone so here the ephedra is going to act as a enzyme inducer it promotes the certain enzymes which are responsible for the metabolism of dexamethasone thereby the plasma concentration of dexamethasone is going to be reduced that effects 
are going to be reduced. Then the third, that is the, with the antidepressant, if it are with the antidepressant, there might be chances of fast heartbeat, high blood pressure and the nervousness. So one should not combine the antidepressants with the ephedra or ephedra related products. As you know that the ephedra, it is going to stimulate the body. The sudden stimulants such as the amphetamines, cocaine, they are going to speed up the nervous system. So when we are combining the stimulants such as the amphetamine and cocaine with the ephedra, there might be chances of serious side effects like a increased heart rate and the high blood pressure. So one should not combine the such a stimulant with the ephedra. Then ephedra is having a property to increase the blood pressure as it is a one of the side effects we have seen. So ergot derivative can also increase the blood pressure. So one should not combine the ephedra with the ergot derivative. So overall, when we are taking the ephedra with the ergot, there might be chances of rise in the blood pressure. As you know that the ephedra is going to stimulate the body. So taking the ephedra with the MAU inhibitors might cause serious side effects, including the fast heartbeat, very high blood pressure, for example, phenalzine, selegiline, and the tranal cypromine. So these are certain MAU inhibitors should not be combined with the ephedra because both the MAU inhibitors as well as the ephedra, they are going to stimulate the body and that may lead to the sudden uh, side effect. Then the ephedra with the antidiabetic medications, so ephedra might increase the blood sugar levels. So when we are taking ephedra, along with the diabetic medication might reduce the effect of the antidiabetic medication. Say for example, insulin. So one should not combine the ephedra or ephedra related product with the antidiabetic medication. You know that the one of the side effects of the ephedra is the risk of seizure, isn't it? So when we are combining the ephedra with the medications, which prevents the seizures like carbamazepine, phenytoin, valproic acid, or the phenobarbitone. There might be rise in the chances of the seizure. So one should not combine the ephedra with the anti-epileptic, isn't it? Then the ephedra, it is going to stimulate the heart. So the some medications for asthma, that is the beta adrenergic agonist can also stimulate the heart. So when we are taking the ephedra with the beta adrenergic drug, there might be chances of stimulation of the heart as well as furthermore, it will create the heart problem. So one should not combine the ephedra with the beta adrenergic agonist. When the ephedra is uh, administered with the amiodarone, disoparamide, procanamide, vinidine, sotalol, it can cause the serious side effects like a heart attack because both the ephedra as well as these drugs they are going to stimulate the heart and that may lead to the heart attack. Ephedra it is going to produce the liver toxicity. There are certain drugs are there. They are going to produce the liver toxicity. So one should not combine the ephedra along with the such a medications. For example. Isoniazide. Isoniazide also, the one of the side effects is the liver toxicity. So one should not combine the ephedra with the isoniazide. So here with we have finished the drug interaction. Let us see the summary. So in this part, we have discussed the drug ephedra, more specifically the synonym, biological source, chemical constituent, use as side effects, and drug interaction. These are the certain references. The major references is the WebMD. Thank you very much.